Hello students, today we're going to design a table of contents for your magazine. We start off by looking at some examples. Um, I really like this example because um, there's a lot that you can do still with the uh, shapes of your text boxes and your image boxes and just create a, a nice uh, rhythm with just uh, the shapes. Um, uh, same thing here. I think that uh, we should look at both pages as one unit. So then your um, your subtitles and the way that you format things is very uh, cohesive. So it gives it a very uh, nice uh, format formatted look. Um, then again, you can also choose uh, a background image that has a lot of negative space and place your text boxes over that and uh, create a nice uh, layout that way. Um, in this example, they use images uh, as a background. They use text, I mean, uh, um, image boxes and cutouts. So, you know, you can explore with different types of things. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay, um, last time we left off uh, here at the uh, two page layout. Um, what we want to do is uh, go right after the your cover and bring in two pages of your master and put that right after your cover. <clears throat> so this is going to be your your um, table of contents. And I'm going to bring in an image control D from my, um, that I have already looked at um, in, in pixels. I, uh, and as you can see, I am starting off from my bleed line, okay? So I'm treating this as uh, one piece, even though I um, I know that I have to put text in both pages. I'm trying to treat it like one cohesive piece. So that's why I kind of do a, um, um, it, it bleeds into the next page. Um, I don't think I mentioned this last time, not meant to mention this, but um, when one of the reasons that I went to go look at go work at a print shop in the very beginning when I first started was because I had been designing this uh, big graphic for this company in uh, Photoshop and it was supposed to be for a trade show and so um, I didn't realize that this was going to be folded up and there were going to be hinges on there so i literally had text going right through the hinges and uh, important images it just looked so you could tell that i had just been starting to do this and so it just looked really bad and i felt so bad because it was very expensive and i just felt like i needed to take a step back I love designing, but you know the production part is also just as important. So that's why I did that. Um, I was making a lot of costly mistakes that I never even thought about, but um, those things are very important. Um, okay, so another thing I wanted to do was uh, to teach you how to create a um, create a gradient box. So when you start off a gradient, you'll see just black and white. Well, it's important that you get your swatches. You get your swatches kind of out of, uh, out of right here on this, um, your tools section. And you get your um, gradient. Okay, and if you can't find gradient, go to window, color, and gradient, okay? Uh, 
So when we're in gradient, I literally just with the eyedropper, I chose uh, colors and then I added them to my palette. I already have them here. Um, I took that from the sand. I took this one from the sky and this one from the uh, water, but you have to uh, make sure that you save all of these in order for the gradient to work. Um, and if you're gonna do, for instance, I'm gonna put this in the background, make sure you choose a very soft color for the background. Um, okay, well, let's just get started with the gradient. Okay, you, you click on this, um, icon here in the middle and that'll apply the gradient. And then you'll see this window right here and you literally just start, no, I'm gonna make sure it's a gradient. And then you click and drag the swatches right inside of the, right inside of the gradient. And to delete the black and white, you click and drag down, click and drag down. Okay. And then you kind of just adjust your gradient how you want it. If you want less blue or however you want. Okay. And then you can also uh, give it like a, an angle, 45 degree angle. Um, okay. I'm gonna move this out of the way. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add it to the background. Uh, right click, arrange, send to back. Okay. And now I am going to add some text. Oh, like I said, if, um, if you choose bolder colors, maybe less of it, you could, you know, you can maybe put those colors on the side or a little sliver on the top or however you want. But if you make it too bold, it is just too much sometimes. But but you might surprise me. Sometimes I say, don't do this and you surprise me and it comes out great. So, all right. So now next thing I wanna write a table of contents. All right, shift control, click and drag. All right, um, we have to go to paragraph and unclick the hyphens, which I've said before, it, the, it should default to not having it, but um, it's, it's like that, so. All right, I tightened up the, the lighting because it's just too much, um, space between there. Okay, so we have table of contents here, shift W. All right, um, let's go ahead and add a circle. Let's try something different. We don't want gradient, we want a solid. I'm gonna look at my swatches. I'm just gonna pick this blue right here. And then, we are going to go to window and look for effects. Okay. So the effects you have, uh, you have to have it selected. You could go down uh, the list here where it says normal. You can put multiply, screen, and just go down the list. Uh, overlay, that looks kind of cool. Um, I actually liked it subtle. So screen seemed to be a little bit more. You can play with that. I'm gonna bring my table of contents to the foreground. Okay. So you can play with shapes like that. Oh, I see that it has a, uh, a slight, um, stroke or, or line. Shift W. Okay, so that's one way, right? Um, another thing that you can do 
is, I'm gonna delete that. So that's just an idea of what you can do with shapes and things like that. But if I wanted to make this um, a really bold font, let's try this one. And let's make it, okay. What I'm about to do, uh, it needs to be a, a bolder font so it um, can come through. Okay, so another thing you can do is you can go to type, create outlines, okay? Then we can give it that same blue color I had. Oh, I'm adding it to the stroke. We don't want that. Uh, the blue. And then we can apply the effects uh, screen, that's too light, overlay. Okay, so shift W. Um, maybe it needs to be moved around. I think it looks better in the sky. So just different ideas, um, just throwing that out there. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is add some of our content, right? So here, um, let's get closer. Let's say we have um, the articles inside of your of your um, magazine. So. Um, I'm just going to write article one um, and write description here. So you want to give, let's, let's uh, give them a little bit of a, a different font. Um, let's pick uh, Gotham. For now, let's make this um, bold and let's give that that blue color we were just using and let's make this one, um, let's pick something like a brown. So it goes with that. Okay, so then uh, what we do is um, We hit uh, tab, the the key tab, and then we put, um, actually, let's not do that. Let's select it first, and then we go to type and tabs. Okay, so we get this uh, little um, window pop up, and it shows you here, <clears throat> this is a, a uh, left aligned, center aligned, and right aligned, and this is uh, dots um, to to uh, align by the dot, and that's usually for numbers when you have you know um, you're talking about uh, dollar amounts and stuff like that. Um, so we want right aligned, and we want to select right aligned, and we want to make sure that it aligns on the end of the of the of the box of the text box and in the letter we want to add a dot okay so now after this when you hit tab you hit tab it created those lines and you can put page um uh, seven okay so you can keep doing that article two this how do you write description is it d-e or d-i oh my goodness it's probably d-e just sorry <laughs> description here we're spell check 
Okay, and since you have already set it up in the whole box, it should recognize it. So then page 10. Okay, so I would like for you to do that just to kind of show that that you you grasped the um the concept of of the tabs okay all right uh another thing i wanted to show you is um is alignment and for instance if i have my table of contents right here i want it aligned with my my uh article page, I mean, my table of contents uh, beneath it. So what you have to do is use guides. And if you don't see your, if you right click on your uh, ruler, you can see all kinds of different types. You can change it to picas, points, and right click and inches, okay? So I use inches just because that's the metrics that we use here in the United States. Um, and uh, when you go print, everything's in inches, so. Okay, so then once you have that, but if you don't see that, it should be under, uh, View rulers. Okay, so you can hide rulers or view show rulers. Okay, so once you do that, you can from the ruler click and drag and it'll bring out the guide. Okay, so now I want things to line up to the guide. And you can do that, of course, uh, this way as well if you want things uh, aligned that way. Okay. Um, and that is very important. Okay. Last thing I want to do is I'll have a little aside, uh, a little section over here for uh, my editor. Control D. And this is the editor lady that I got from Pexels. I just thought. Oh, well, she's reading a book, so she must be an editor. Okay, you, you can use a picture of yourself if you want. I've had students do that. They're the editor. Okay. So then um, you want to write a word from the editor. And then uh, bring in some text. So I already looked up some content for the editors. And we're just gonna grab this and paste it in here. That is way too, it just looks too small. Um, maybe it's the font. It needs some space in between, it just looks so crammed. So I'm going to space it out and maybe up the font a little bit and make sure you take out the hyphens. Okay, so I'm going to use the guide and you just want to be so meticulous about uh, the tiny little details, making sure that everything's aligned. Okay, so that's pretty much it's an idea how to get you started. I actually, for me, I I really like the the whole uh, putting it in a circle. I don't know why. Uh, I like putting um, like profiles in a circle. It just looks much better to me. OK, 
Okay. All right. So that's it. Um, just something. Uh, oh, remember this right here. That's called a um, a widow. You don't. You want to just to get uh, rid of the widow. You just adjust the size of the width and there you go it's just a, a big no-no in in writers and in um you know designers circles it's just little things you have to watch out for so i want you to have some um uh, to show that you know how to do the tabs and i want you to get better at uh, alignment okay and that's it all right have a great day. Bye.